So as we take a look at a typical case that may come into a prosthodontic practice or a restorative practice like mine, we see the complexity of, and we know how to handle it dental facially, aesthetically. We understand that there's functional aspects that we're going to have to deal with too between the muscles and the jaw and the inner articulation of the teeth. And we are also look at structural integrity issues, biomechanical, if you will, and biologic. What's equally important, I think maybe more important for those of us that do major restorative dentistry, complex restorative dentistry, uh, complex prosthodontics, is the emotional milieu that comes with it. Because these patients don't arrive just as a set of teeth. I often wish they did. But they bring with them the emotions. And nine times out of ten, I, if I could see you, I'd ask for a show of hands. But aren't you treating, for the most part, failed dentistry? Aren't you treating things that didn't work, and now they've come to you? And because of that, there's a, a range of emotions that go with them. I was first introduced to this group way back when by my dear friend Marty Martell when I spoke to the Central New England Dental Research Group back in the late 1970s. And I've been coming to this meeting uh, most of the last 25 years. I was going to be a member, but I got cancer, and that diverted me slightly, and uh, I should have gone on with that. Let me talk about Flora for the moment. That's who you saw. And Flora, when she came to our office, one of the questions we asked people, now she's, she's pushing 80 when she comes to the office. This is her 80th birthday that she came in to be prepped for the uh, upper arch with custom transitionals. And um, I asked her, will you keep the rest of your teeth the rest of your life? She's 80 years old. That may sound like a silly question. On the other hand, she said, absolutely, Bob. She said, you know, last week I live on a ranch by myself. And I shot a coyote off the back porch. I'm from Austin, Texas. And she said, I shot a coyote off the back porch with my 22 rifle who was trying to raid my chicken coop. Sounds like she's got a lot of life left in her. I said, well, Flora, how long do you expect to live? You said you want to keep your teeth a lifetime. I asked that of all my patients. They don't know what the answer to that is. The answer is the rest of my life. That's true of all of us. And she said, well, Bob, my mother lived to be 94, and I'm healthier than she is, so I think I'll make it to at least 98 to 100 years old. So we had the chance to go ahead and put the transitionals in, and I know you guys have joy when you get to do something like that. 